Have you ever wondered what goes on in a large railroad yard? How trains are made up? Did you ever wonder where cars go which needs repairs, or where locomotives are serviced? If you're like many of us, you probably have asked those and other questions a lot. Well, we have created the ultimate film for you to see which should answer many of those daunting questions. In this day and age, many people don't seem to really care much about railroads, let alone what goes on in a large railroad yard. However, for the small percentage of those who still do care, train buffs included, this film covers the operations of one of the few largest railroad yards left in Wisconsin. You will witness time freight trains depart and enter the yard. And there will be plenty of switching action for you to see as well. You even get to see where locomotives go which needs light servicing. We have it all right here in this film. One of the biggest aspects of this film is its informative brilliant narration, done by the writer, producer, and director, Randy Groom. Randy speaks about how railroads began using yards way back in the 1800s, and about the earliest railroad locomotives. You will find out when the first yard came to Stevens Point and its size and operations. While all that is being said, you will get to witness a local train enter the yard with cars from the paper mill, one of the few major railroad customers left in point. Finally, you will see where cars go which need repairs. Yes, this is one action-packed film that railroad fans and others are sure to savor for years to come. So if you're looking for answers to the questions about what goes on in major railroad yards, then this film is a must-see for you. We're sure you will agree that it's perhaps the best made film yet about the operations of a large railroad yard, right here in central Wisconsin. This film captures the train action, down-home style, the way it was meant to be. And it's all right here in this film from Supercell 3 Pictures and RL Groom Productions.